One of the challenges that Blender still faces is in the simulation of realistic physics and facts. Don't get me wrong though, it can produce exceptional results. But is it good enough to compete with other tools in the market? Well, not really. However, in the background there is one tool in development that aims to take the simulation of Blender to the next level. I'm talking about RBD Lab. So what is the secret behind it? why it is popular, and is it really that good? RBD Lab is a Blender add-on that emerges as a solution to improve the simulation capabilities and everything physics related within the software. I'm talking about the type of animation that applies the principles and the laws of physics to produce realistic animations with the use of complex math algorithms. Let's be honest. Neither you nor I care about that, but what we care about is the type of animation they could produce, such as object fracturing, destruction, and creating details such as debris, dust, and smoke, and many other things. According to the developer, it has been in development for more than two years, to the point where we could say it has become more than just an add-on, but rather a complete simulation software that resides within Blender, but does it live up to that hype? And is it different than the physics simulations of Blender? And why does it make a difference? But before we get into that, I would like to highlight that it regroups all Blender simulation features into a side panel, which makes it easier to set up the different types of effects without having to go back and forth between the never-ending menus of the software. And we all know how tiresome that is. Now, in terms of what makes RBD Lab different than the simulation tools that are found in Blender, is that it uses rigid bodies as the basis of all simulations. And let me tell you, it changes everything. Before we continue, let me take a moment and talk about Salad. How would you like to profit from your PC while doing absolutely nothing? It is true, at least technically speaking. You are probably thinking, what's the catch? And indeed, there is one. But it is not what you think. In a nutshell, Solid is a computer sharing community that can help you earn back some of the money you spent on your high-end rig. So if you own a powerful GPU, you can earn up to $200 a month by sharing your PC resources while idling to help people with massive computing projects like AI and machine learning. So when you are not cranking those renders and animations, you can start the Salad app and let it run in the background. The rewards can range from games, gift cards, and gaming hardware, among other things. So click the first link in the description to get started. And you can also use the code TOTS to boost your rewards. A rigid body simulates the movement of solid objects such as their position and orientation without deforming them. To explain it better, let's use a bouncing ball animation example. In cartoons, they typically get squeezed against the ground as they bounce back, whereas in real life, they don't do that type of deformation, at least not to that extent. And that's how rigid bodies work. The more rigid the body is, the less deformation you can see and they try to mimic the physical movements of objects in the real world. But this is not limited to balls only, because this can be applied to all sorts of objects. Now, in the context of Blender, unlike other simulations, rigid bodies work with the standard animation system of the software. This means that they can be treated as if they are regular objects. And you can use things like parent-child relationships, animation constraints, and drivers. RBD Lab using rigid bodies as the basis of all types of simulations also means that these simulations can interact with each other, such as cloth colliding with rigid bodies or soft bodies bouncing off rigid bodies, and many other effects that were not possible with the default simulation tools of Blender. Now, if I had to name one type of simulation that Blender struggles with the most, I would say it is fractures, at least in my opinion because there is no direct way to do it other than with the self-fracture free add-on that comes with the software, or by having to figure out a manual way to do it. And to be honest, 
none of these two ways are so optimal for that task. That's why RBD Lab offers a collection of tools to give you the power to create any fracturing effect and you can do it quickly with many details. To achieve this, we have multiple options to choose from. We can, for instance, generate fractures based on particles, which is revolutionary for a blender if you ask me. And you can even adjust the different elements of it, such as the size and density of the particles. And there is also other ways to generate fractures too, such as using textures, boolean operations, and other tools that allow further details to take place. Now, in terms of the simulation engine that the add-on uses, it is still the regular one that we can find in Blender. So while it is true that it still heavily relies on Blender's internal capabilities, it makes life way easier for Blender users because its menu broke down all of Blender's simulation features into a direct and simple to understand side menu. For example, we have a section for the main modules where we can find things like fractures, physics, particles, and constraints. And with that, we have a simpler access to all the tools that allow you to create stuff like debris, dust, and smoke more easily without having to manually figure it out. And just like what we said, the true power of the add-on relies on its ability to be able to mix all these types of simulations with each other thanks to using rigid bodies. What is also worth mentioning about RBD Lab is how it introduces never seen before types of simulations to the software, or at least the ones that would be very tricky to achieve otherwise. Among these is the deformation of metal, because ever since the release of the version 1.5 of RBD Lab, it became possible to produce realistic metal deformation and shattering, or even totally breaking it which according to the developer is something that wasn't possible in Blender before. And just like we mentioned before, the add-on also allows us to provide never-seen-before soft body simulations inside the Blender, such as close. But why is that? Well, if you remember, the key to achieving this relies on RBD Labs' reliance on rigid bodies and the ability to mix different types of simulations with each other, so that we can create combinations that simply weren't possible in the software before. There are also a few more simulation types that we can achieve with the add-on, such as ropes, melting effects, and much more. With the help of an add-on at this level, can Blender finally go head-to-head -head with other industry standard software such as Houdini? Well, it is a step in the right direction, for sure, but it still has a long way to go before it can rival such a software which is arguably the best software in the market and one of the most used in major studios and VFX productions around the world. As of today, Houdini still stands out as a far more advanced software that surpasses Blender in virtually every aspect of simulation. With its superior physics engine, bigger set of features, and offering more control over how the simulation can look compared to Blender at least. But still, RBD Lab is a great solution for Blender users or those who can't pay for Houdini or they don't want to learn it in the first place. And let's not forget about Houdini's node-based workflow, the bread and the butter of the tool, which allows you to create custom iterations, animations, and effects by combining and mixing different nodes together. It is also a much more flexible way to work with in general. As an answer to this, Blender introduced simulation nodes a while back, which work exactly like Houdini, but it is still not at the same level since it is in its early stages. However, both RBD Lab and Blender are still great solutions for creating physics simulations. As a matter of fact, some users didn't move to Houdini because of this add-on called RBD Lab. As one artist stated, I must say that the results are amazing. As someone who is considering switching to Houdini, this add-on is part of the reason why I still haven't switched. But we have to admit, there is still a lot of work left before we can catch up to the industry standard simulation software. Yet again, from what I can see, RBD Lab right now is one of the best solutions, if not the best, you can get right now to work on simulations inside the Blender. So guys, if you are interested in RBD Lab, you will find all the necessary links in the description.
I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you guys very much for watching again and I will see you in the next one.